Welcome back here to Adelante Chicago. There's a push right now to get migrants out of shelters and living independently. Finding a job could make a big difference, but it's not that simple. Obtaining a work permit doesn't fix all the issues. New arrivals are also maneuvering an immigration system that's overwhelmed right now. Even when things run smoothly, it could take years to be granted asylum. <laughs> Frank Sandoval has a lot to smile about. After a five-year wait, he's finally walking hand-in-hand hand with his wife and daughter. Their long-awaited reunion arrived earlier this month. Oh, God. It was the most beautiful experience I ever had. I was so nervous. Pictures captured the moment their lives took a new direction and their home became the U.S. They got approved the same day my mother died. That was very hard. He's referring to their asylum case. Frank left his wife and daughter behind in Venezuela in 2018. As a government worker there who opposed the leadership, he received threats and feared for his life. His goal was to one day get his family back together. He would tell you he probably had it a little easier than most people. For one, he speaks English and practiced law in Venezuela. Well, it took five years to get his family here with approved asylum. He says it can take a lot longer. Seven years or 10 years even of uh, waiting for an asylum interview, believe it or not. Frank has heard a lot of stories by now. He spent the last few years helping new migrants through the Joliet Organization Spanish Community Center. He went as far as helping Santa welcome them to the U.S. When I, I got my interview for a nonprofit, I told the director, say, even if you don't hire me, I'm happy I'm being interviewed. And I started crying because this is so beautiful to do. Beautiful and he says desperately needed. One of the main problems with uh, asylum claim is no attorney wants to take an asylum case. Why? Because it's so difficult to win it. Data shows less than 40% of asylum cases are granted and can cost applicants $10,000 in attorneys. The recent new arrivals will wait for hearings, but a backlog in the court system makes a complicated process even more lengthy. A 2022 Syracuse University report showed that 1.6 million asylum applications were pending in immigration courts, the largest total number on record. I don't think it's going to be good unless we find something, something else to, to fix this problem, because this is a problem right now. If getting to the U.S. was tough, Frank fears that what comes next for new arrivals may test even the strongest survivor. And we will continue to follow Frank's journey and we'll let you know what happens. More than half of the asylum seekers, meanwhile, living in the city run shelters, made the journey here from Venezuela as that country continues to battle government unrest. Most of them will tell you that they are grateful for the help they're receiving, but they know not everyone supports their journey. A new campaign is meant to address that issue. Take a look. Yo no quiero pedir, yo no estoy acostumbrada a eso. Venimos acá a este país, no hacerle daño a nadie. Echémosles ganas, pongámonos fuerte. And Ana Gil, director of uh, academics at St. Augustine College, is here to tell us a little bit more about the campaign. Hello and welcome. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for coming in. Oh, thank you so much for having me. Okay, tell me about this campaign because it's something that you, along with a number of other organizations, came up with and thought was needed. Yeah. Um, yeah, this campaign definitely was is, is needed in the city, not only in the city of Chicago, you know, mm -hmm. but also in the state of Illinois. Um, along with that, we are, as a Venezuelan, very grateful, you know, to everything that has been done for, for these uh, new arrivals, right? 80% of them, Venezuelans, as you know. Um, yeah, this campaign is, is, is about cleaning the face and, uh, and putting the positive side of how these uh, new immigrants will be good citizens, and we are expecting that that happen, right? Um, yeah, um, Rincon Family Services um, mm. called uh, my organization, uh, Illinois Venezuelan Alliance, and, and they said, Anna, uh, let's put together a campaign because this is something that we, that there are many critical points, uh, you know, people will may say yeah. negative things. So what was happening was that they were hearing negative things about right. the Venezuelan migrants who were coming yeah. in. Things like they weren't going to work, they were yeah, going to eat here. up our resources, things exactly, like that. Exactly, exactly. You know, there's things like, for example, well, they're going to here to take our, uh, our jobs or, or they're here because they're just asking for more. 
uh, you know, just giving me things that they're supposed to be, we're paying because we're taxpayers, you know, all those things. So, but, but this campaign is about um, telling, you know, the campaign comes in two different levels. One is that is targeting, is addressing the new arrivals, is telling them this is what we're expecting for you from to know you. Yeah. from you. And the other one to the community at large. So that's, uh, um, um, but the, the, the nice part is that when, when we went to shelters and, and doing this, all these interviews, we realized uh, that these are people and, and people are humans and, and they really have those needs. And I do remember that, uh, you know, when we came many years ago, uh, mm -hmm. we were looking for a better life. And I think that this is really what, what it's about. Okay. So they, they tell you, I want to work. That's what yeah, I Yeah, we want. heard that over yeah, and over again know, as we over, over, did some of the interviews. Unfortunately, we have, you know, a, a system that is broken and, uh, and it has to wait for 150 days, you know, to get to a, a work even permit. apply for their exactly. uh, work permit. Right. Uh, I want to turn to the Venezuelan Alliance and talk about some of the things and some of the help that you've been able to offer some of the asylum seekers that are coming in. Tell me a little bit about it. Yeah, we, you know, one of the things that we do, we go to different shelters and, and we provide something that is called um, a cultural uh, competence, uh, acculturation. You know, we talk about, we talk Venezolano. And when you go there and they see you um, and, and that you're speaking their, their language, um, even though, you know, we always speak Spanish, right? So, but they, um, they it's, it's about just telling them, listen, you're coming in winter time. So this is the type of clothes that you wear, okay? Mm -hmm. And not only that, we have done uh, uh, some other type of campaign. We, uh, we provided to 500 um, immigrants um, uh, Thanksgiving. But yeah. Thanksgiving has a, a different meaning by that time. We explained it. This is what Thanksgiving is, you know, looks like. And this is what the meaning of Thanksgiving is. Uh, you saw, you know, Franz yeah. Sandoval uh, uh, as a Santa. Sant he was Santa yeah. for 400 years. He's kids. been instrumental in all exactly. of this, just like the Venezuelan right, Alliance. Right. So, okay, well, we, we appreciate your time. Uh, I know that we're going to have links to that campaign and some of the work that you're doing on our Facebook page for Adelante Chicago. Thank you, Anna. Oh, Thank you so much, Lourdes.